This video demonstrates how to use separate files in a program. The main purpose of using separate files is to modularize where your code is. So you have less code per file and also these files could be moved between programs. So for example on the right we have the hidden number game. Uh, just to see how this one works we'll compile using wall of course so we can see all the warnings. And then we'll run the program and it's asking us to guess a number between 0 and 100. I'll guess 50, tells me too high, 40, too low, 46. You guess right, and then I can press Y to play again if I wish. And I do not wish to do so, so I will press no for the second time. Okay, so that's the game. And there's three functions that support this game. The main is the guess game, and that is virtually the entire game, with the exception of asking if I'd like to play again. Otherwise, guess game handles the entire game, and guess game uses two functions, get guess and determine whether it's a correct guess with the correct guess function. This code for those three functions, the, uh, the definition of the three functions is defined below main. Okay, so how can we use separate files? What we're going to do is take these declarations, the function prototypes, and we're going to move them to a header file. And I'm going to name the header file hidden num because it's the hidden num game. So I will cut and paste into the header file those function declarations. And now that I've done so, I need to include the header file. And let's see if we can still compile. We get a warning no new end of no new line at end of file. Well that's not a tough warning to deal with. That's actually super easy. There we go. And we could run the program. So if I guess 50, too high, 46, just right. Alright, it's a start. That's the first step, is moving the function declarations and adding the pound include. If we had forgotten the pound include, we would get a little bit of an error. And the error would be telling us that guess game was not declared in this scope. This guess game call hasn't been declared yet and that's true. We would have previously have had to have the declarations up above in this area here but we've moved them to the header which is why we need to have the include to the header which is hidden num.h. Okay to make sure we're doing fine let's compile and that's looking good and we'll do a quick test and that's good too. Alright, the next step in separating the files is to move the function definitions, which is all these guys, and I'm going to cut and paste them into hidden num.cpp. So this is where we store the definitions of our functions, is in the cpp. The header has the declarations, the cpp has the definitions. So let's go ahead and save. I'm going to exit that program and let's compile main.cpp and we get an error in main.cpp undefined reference to guess game. So it's not aware of where this guess game came from. Now we've told it that hidden num is where the declaration is, but we haven't told it that hidden num.cpp is where the function is defined. So how do we do that? We do that in the compilation terminal. So I'm going to add hidden num.cpp. Oh, we get a variety of warnings and errors. The first warning is in hidden num.cpp on line 35, and the warning is no new line at end of file. Okay, that's a super easy one to solve. Let's compile again, see if we get any new errors. And we do, We inside of the file hidden num.cpp we get an error c out was not declared in the scope end line not declared you seem to be consistent errors across this file there's c out end c out end what's forgotten is we need to include inside of this .cpp is io stream now once we compile again we still have these errors because we ha don't have the using namespace std how about when we compile now, 
We do not have any errors or warnings. Now let's run the program. We've got 50, too high, 40, too low, 46. It's just right. We could play again. I do not wish to. Now we've transferred over all of the code to run the hidden number game between the header, where the declarations are, and the CPP, which is where the definitions are. And that's how you create separate files. And when we go to do the compilation, we had to add in, in addition to main.cpp, which is where we previously had all of the code, we had to add in a compilation of hidden num.cpp. So the compiler first compiles hidden num.cpp, and then creates an object and links that compiled object with the compiled main.cpp. That's how you work with separate files. Thank you.